Welcome to Kenzai Bandcamp. Today we're talking about the chest and how to access it with a simple tool of the resistance band. The chest is actually a very simple muscle. It's the pectoralis minor, which is just a little muscle up here, not a big deal, and the pectoralis major, which is your big pec muscle, which goes from this uh, shoulder joint, fans out until it hits your sternum here in the middle. Now this muscle is activated when you do anything that closes the arms like this, right? Or in another way by pushing the arms like this, all right? How do we hit that with the resistance band? Our favorite exercise for the chest at Kenzai is what we call the standing ovation. You take your band and loop it around about shoulder height and you stand with your back to that anchor point. Okay. Now we call this a standing ovation because it's really important that you keep your hands open. So we want to imagine you've just seen the best show of your life. You're standing up and you're giving the biggest round of applause that you can. So what I'm doing here is bringing the hands together against resistance, using my pec muscles to squeeze together and lightly touch. Okay. So mistakes we see with this exercise are people leaning in. This is just gravity in my body. It's not my pecs, not a good idea. So one way you can alleviate that is to take the, a split stance, which lets you not lean forward so much. There's some good form right there, okay? And if you want to add more resistance, all you do is take a step forward. That just got a lot harder by taking that one step. If you're finding, oh, this is too hard, I can't get through it, take a small step back and you're in business. Standing ovation, super effective for pectoral toning. Next up, let's say we don't have an anchor point. We want to hit the lower part of our pecs. We do a rising ovation. Stand on the band. Again, palms up, that's why we call them ovations. The, the reason we do that is if you close your fist, you tend to kind of punch through the motion, use your shoulder a lot. When your palms open, you isolate the pecs much more. You can feel that for yourself if you try it at home. Palms open, lifting. The way I think of this exercise is, uh, it's like you're an orphan asking for more gruel. You know, that kind of like, more please. More please, more burn. Oh. Very, very effective. Again, just a few reps, I can already feel my pecs burning. All right. Aside from those two, you can do some nice extending motions like this. I'm gonna take the band over top bar here. And of course you can use your door, your door anchor for this. We call this one the pony punch. <clears throat> you wanna imagine there's a little pony here and you're just gonna punch that pony. We don't advocate uh, animal cruelty, but it's just an image to get you punching down. And again, my pec is engaging, especially the upper part right here, as I push into that motion. It's kind of like doing a push up against resistance. And of course, when you do one side, you switch to the other. It's a one sided exercise. Our final movement is a reclining chest exercise, which is a little unusual. So we're gonna take our band here, and actually we're gonna loop it at a low point. So I've got a about shin high anchor point. I'm gonna lie on the ground, scooch out until I've got a little bit of tension in the band, and I'm gonna fly the band down, up and down. And this is hitting the very, very top of my pecker. At first you don't feel much, but after a few sets, you'll start to feel that burn. That's just a few ways you can use a resistance band to build your chest. You do not need a big bench press or chest fly machine to get good results in this area of your body.